everybody and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World, the game where I bet I haven't won it. Have I won it? Oh, we got this update first. Okay, this isn't what I was expecting. Look at all this. Look at all the updates, man. Well, not the updates, all the events. It is absolutely crazy. Battle for survival, Beast of the Biodome. Oh, do you know you get two times if you're a VIP subscriber? Fidelity packs. Oh, for a limited time, VIP players receive four times the loyalty points for a week. Oh, thank God I'm actually here. Okay, so yeah, that's that's making this kind of worth it, isn't it? Oh, look at this. It's it's like, oh, no, for a whole week, VIP players will have access to a special tournament, exclusive offers, and daily gifts. They're really, they're really trying to... Uh, uh, get you to do VIP, aren't you? <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> uh, what else we got? Swamp Jaws, uh, Quadruple Classics, 50% off in the speed up, and like them on Facebook as well as once I click exit. And this has popped up again, and exit off that. Oh, no, it's the tournament not over yet. Oh, we got two hours. Oh, okay. See, I'm on two hours left. I'm on the Hunter League. We could actually give that a shot and see how far we can get, but. Okay, I'm a VIP. I'm a VIP, baby. So we're going to collect that, and we're getting close to leveling that up to level 3. So before I start, I um, want to make a quick correction to my last video with Dio <laughs> in the thumbnail. That video did really well, thank you. All the videos I've had for like five or six videos have got more views than the last, which is amazing. These ones, well, from this week they won't because nothing's going to be that Godzilla video. <laughs> so let's open up VIP packs. So we get four times the amount of points now so times four wow, 60 so there has not been a better time to open up packs um so i don't need concavenator we've got 10 percent off the rainforest pavilion but what are the prizes like you get 100 bucks and what about this one you get 100 bucks so there's no point solid gold here we go let's open up some solid gold packs shall we? oh yes i remember so i mentioned i didn't know what the prizes were going to be uh you know when you you've got the old vip transitioning to the new vip so if you have the dna building whatever level it is from the old vip and you continue your vip membership over to this one you get your dna building level transferred so you don't have to start again Ludia did message me, and I got that wrong, so I do apologize. Um, I, I did not know about that, and now I know about it. And there you go, relayed it, so good job, Eva. Solid gold, what do we get? 200 bucks, as well as Hanodis. Really good, actually. As well as, instead of 325, whoa, 1,300. So, in, I spent 10,000 on that, and I got 1,300 back, which means I got... I, I only spent 8,700 VIP points on that. Uh, that's really flipping good. We're going to open a pack, so we need to do that. So there we go. We've also got a Clash of the Titans. So also, uh, just going to bring this up. There is apparently the, the weekly updates and the events are so crazy in this game that they have... A, well, actually, I'll just show you. Let's, let me just pull up this. As some of you may have noticed, the number of events on any one day of the calendar has been increasing. Due to this, we have made a... We have to make a decision on what should not appear on the calendar when too many events were active. These decisions have understandingly frustrated and confused players. To rectify <gasps> this, we have decided to split the calendar into two. So, there is now a weekly calendar and then a, uh, like, the basically a weekly schedule for eight weeks so this is the weekly schedule for eight weeks it looks freaking horrible <laughs> it's just old text but we will still get um a weekly calendar which shows other things um but this is a eight week cycle which once uh, eight week passes it restarts to week one uh originally when i first saw this i thought to myself are they slowly starting to phase this out like they did with Jurassic Park Builder? Because Jurassic Park Builder for a while had new uh, 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 things added. And then in the last update, they sort of just had things cycle all the time over and over and over. Probably the same things. Um, and I was thinking, oh my god, is, Jurassic is this the first start of Jurassic World the game doing this? But it's probably because of the corona, <laughs> the corona, corona, <laughs> the co-monetization. Um thing happening that now we've got so many events to do uh, that they're deciding to do that so i have found out a really good way oh my god the best way the best trades 
for you to do. So, you know how we used to have really good trades and um, we, we we don't really get those anymore. As you can see right here, that, that I mean, uh, uh, they're all like mares, I guess. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. And then let's trade some DNA for some VIP points. I'll take that. Why not? Um, but I would usually trade coin for DNA and get what? 200? 200 DNA for coin? Eh, you might say to yourself, actually, you know what? That's not too bad. And if you want to, Fidelity members can trade up to 200 cash. Well, let's say you want DNA and you've got 99.99999 million coin. How about this? Right, I'm about to blow your minds, okay? Ready. We're gonna go on coin. We're trading coin. What for? Uh, well, I can't trade it for cash. That doesn't work. I, c I can trade it for DNA and loyalty points. But what's the point? Have you ever clicked on trading coin for a dinosaur? 42 million coin for a Pachyceratops. Now, how much DNA is that? That's actually a lot of DNA for 42 million coin, which I can just get back in one click. So, Pachyceratops. Got. Damn. That's good. So we'll trade coin again. Let's try what aquatic we can get. An Elasmosaurus for 21 million. You know what? I'll take that. If anything, I can hatch these and sell them for way more DNA than I would get from just trading straight coin for DNA. If I trade straight coin for DNA, it'd be about like 200, if that. 200 coin, uh, sorry, 200 DNA for millions of coin. So we're just going to collect our coin again. Now, it, I think it depends on how much coin you have to what trades you can get, obviously. It won't give you, um, you know, trade this much coin if you don't have that much coin in your bank pocket. So you need to have a loads of coin. And let's click Jurassic again. 37 million for Ostafricosaurus. Am I going to say no to that? Uh, no. <laughs> Yay! So, that, to me, seems like the best- I mean, unless you want specifically books, that's the best trades you can get. Now, I think if you're a VIP member, you can have three trades. If not, you get one trade. So, if, you, if you're gonna trade, I would say do that. Uh, unless you're Fidelity and you want books. So, there you go, three trades. Um, what else? We could probably got loads of flipping events to do. How's my hatcheries? Oh, look, another Indoraptor. Oh, happy days, yes. Yeah, I'm alive. So that brings that Indoraptor total to six of the bloody buggers. We're getting prepared eventually for when the next movie comes out. So there you go. Making it to level 10. Look at you, so cute. Oh, he's so clever. Look at him go. Nom, nom. It doesn't even eat it. Just throws it. Ooh. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So now we have one, two, three, four, four level 10s and two level 20s. So if we wanted to, we could make a level 40 Indoraptor. Oh my god. What a waste of DNA that would be. It would be horrendous for me to have a level 40. Level 10! At level flipping 10! 5,000 health! 2,600 attack! There is no need for me to... I, like... Especially when all these events are happening all the goddamn time. <laughs> it's... It's it's ludicrous for me to fuse them together. Um, so I'm just not going to. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go into the battles. So we do have the dive into the deep, which actually, okay, this is, the, I mentioned this in my last video. Now it has been like a year or something ridiculous since we've had an, a, like um, an aquatic tournament, as in you have to use aquatic creatures because we've had, oh, you win aquatic creatures, but we've never had it for ages, like a year where you have to use aquatic creatures. Now, Last time they did this, you had to do three battles and you were like top one of Dominator. This time it's a little bit harder, but to save you time, here's the best thing to do. That. Now, for whatever reason, um, it, like if this was the Jurassic Tournament, I mean, actually, that's, that's a really tough team, <laughs> but we're going to win anyway. Uh, for whatever reason, if this was the Jurassic Tournament, I would get maybe, what, 30 odd cups? Maybe, maybe 30, maybe 30, 31, 29, something like that. 
But if you do it this way, you're like guaranteed to get 38 to 40 cups. And that will skyrocket you. You do not need to do as many battles in this tournament either. So, I mean, as long as you do this, you're going to just skyrocket through it. So one, and then we're just going to go for two reserves. Because I'm pretty sure Tyler Sword can't kill me in uh, two hits. Maybe if he wasn't nerfed. He, oh no, no, he definitely couldn't. Could he? You do a lot of damage. You do probably about 2,000 damage. Over 2,000 damage. Okay. If you're going to hit me, you should have just kept Tylosaur in. But all right. Uh, one, two. Factor in two. And then one block. Whoa! He's going to have three. Possibly even four. But he can't kill me with three hits. Oh. Tylosaurus. Here we go. Oh, he's only got three. Oh. I forgot. Oops. I factored in two and he switched, he switched in. Oh, you silly bugger, James. You silly Billy. Right, so we're just going to go for four because he can't even block for four. And one kills him. Just like that. Now, according to the algorithm, it thinks that that was a really hard battle for me. When it could have been if you didn't know what you were doing. So we get 40 cups. Bam. Roo. There you go. So we, we went up a little bit, but 40 cups for one ball? That's really good. And oh, look at that. We got a VIP. <laughs> so we got 15 Capra Suchus DNA, as well as times that by four. So 60. Damn. So also, Code Reds at the moment are on hold. Uh, thank you for your support and being a VIP. Oh, this is the daily gifts you can get. So what do we get? What do we get? 500. Damn it, did that not turn into like 2,000 DNA? Aww. <laughs> I'm getting greedy now, aren't I? Uh, so let's have a look what else we got. We got the cup. We might as well just do this because we're going to get VIP points or at least super DNA for this. So yeah, I think that'll do. That's good enough. Just one hit kills it and then two hits should be able to kill Labyrinthus. I think. I'm not so sure. Oh, it does. So I'm just going to go an all out attack. We'll eventually kill it. It'll die eventually. Ah, dear. Oh, well, there you go. One kills it. And that's one. It should really only be two battles. It used to be two battles. I guess you get more DNA now, though. And that's the probably the argument that they use as to why now it's three battles instead of two. So, well, you get DNA extra. Why are you complaining? <laughs> time, Ludia. I don't have time for this garbage. Also, while you're listening, can we please have some battle events take place in different arenas. Oh my god. I'm sick of seeing the same visitor center in every battle I do. It's nice that we got the tournament because the tournament is in a different arena. Um, is it in a different arena when it comes to Jurassic? It isn't. It's in the same visitor center, isn't it? God, I love the, um, the, the, the PVP battle arena on the helipad. Can we just have it random? I'd so prefer it to be random because I very rarely do PVP because there is literally no point. Um, I find anyway. We'll do that. We'll do that. A little bit of a tougher team, actually. Maybe I should level up some of those flyers. It's not like it's going to cost me much. Mm. Well, might as well go for three reserves, because there's nothing you can do. <laughs> I'm going to win. So, we got this one. We've also got another event. So, one, two, factor in two, and then two reserves. Why not? And he only went for one block. Kick. Instead of 49 in attack, what, 47? 48? Wow, what a difference a one! What a difference a one makes! <gasps> one little number! <laughs> Let's go for six! <laughs> Bam! I think he only had four, didn't he? Did he have four? Either way, there you go, that's that done. And the food pack, because you don't really need food, but hey, there it is. Really, you're doing it for this, because that 130 turns into. 520! That's almost like a, uh, a legendary pack opening. That's nuts. Uh, also, because this is, uh, we're getting times four VIP points for the next week, I need to win this pack to see just how much VIP points it gives me. I mean, if it normally gives me 1,300 times that by four, What's that, like 6,000 DNA? Sorry, 6,000 6, VIP points. It's almost a solid goal pack on top of winning it, which is nuts. But we also need now to focus on winning all the packs we can uh, because of this limited time offer. So herbivore, well, that's pretty easy. 
I mean, pretty much one right here. One level 10 monostegatops. I think you'll find it's more than enough. Ooh, is that so? Is that so? Oh, <laughs> you think you can kill me? <laughs> Little chuffer. Actually, if you had four, he could get darn close to it. In fact, four might have been enough. Well, it's time to kill you, because you can't block for four, I mean six, and two kills you. Woohoo! Could have went either way there. That was lucky. Okay, herbivores times two. Well, these ones aren't too tough, so we'll go for that. And again, kills them in two. Is it four battles this one? I think it might be. It might be four battles. I don't know, guys. Should I should I get a level 40 Indoraptor? Just to say that I've got a level 40 Indoraptor. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I want to. I, like, it's really tempting because it would be, like, the best creature in the game. I would have a level 40 Indoraptor. I'd be able to say I have a level 40 Indoraptor. I'd also be able to title the video a level 40 Indoraptor. <laughs> Maxed Indoraptor. Oh, I don't know. It's just not worth it. Like... The amount of times I use Indoraptor for battles, like in the Clash of- well, in tournaments, um, has saved me so many times. Oh, this is a terrible team. <laughs> it's a terrible team to face up against. I still kill them in two hits. I'm not even using my best herbivores. <gasps> Ooh, that's a T-Rex Gen 2, though. Ooh. Oh, it goes for it. Oh. How dare you hit a Margosaurus. One, two, and one reserve. Hey K.O. Ooh, Dimetrodon. Mm. Yeah, Dimetrodon's basically the same. And it's just a regular one, two, and factor in two, because why not? And boom, kill that one. The Spinoraptor comes in. Again, kind of the same. Four, one, two. Three. He could kill me, actually, I think. Oh, he goes for it. Kills a Vargasaurus. And Antarctica Pelter comes in to kill you. Is that a tail whap? Whoppa! There you go, that was easy. Another 50 DNA and the final one, three. I've got, a, I could use three herbivores here. I'm gonna use mono stegotops and then some weaker ones because there's really no point. These guys are the s same kind of strength as the last ones because we've got a level 20 legendary and then just level 10 tournament. The Gorgosaurus, maybe. Maybe the Gorgosaurus is a little bit tougher. Could have killed me in four though. Four, eight, 1,600. Oh, no, I don't think he could kill me in four. So we'll go for two hits, two reserves. Remember, that's the key. Always factor in two. Because if they have to go for more than two block, they don't really pose much of a threat. But if you only factor in one block and they go for two, oh, it's kind of annoying. All right, so one, two, one, two. And look, you can just keep on repeating this. And there you go. Whoa. <laughs> Gorgosaurus, 453 attack. Ooh, a little bit tougher. Six. That's... Oh, he goes to four. Oh, he doesn't do it. I knew it. I knew it wasn't enough. Uh, one, two. And should we just go for four YOLOs? Oh, oops. Oh, dear. <laughs> we might not even attack this, actually. Aha! Let's go for eight. Let's watch that in slow motion. He's charging. Oh, I got him. Beautiful. 5,000 damage. Level 10, you know what? Not bad. And there it is, an Asta Flipposaurus Disappointment Pack, because it's not actually, it's one of the worst carnivores. It's a legendary. But 500 DNA plus 100 bucks, plus an Ostrificosaurus to sell, plus one, yeah, 2,600 VIP points. Oh, that's crazy. Wow, that was a lot. Um, ooh, oh god, that's right, there was an event not too long ago. Maybe it was another Beast of the Biodome I had to do. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. How many battles is it? It's four battles. I don't think I can do it, man. I don't think I can do it. But we can definitely collect... Oh, really? That's it? Participate in any PvP arena three times. Oh! Oh, right! So that's the, um... Ah, uh, the whatchamacallit, just the uh, tournament. Eh, yeah, makes sense. What's this one? Unlocked at 1,400,000 completed battles during live arenas. Well, we got the tournament, so that we're definitely going to unlock that, I would have thought. And way there you go. Even more. <laughs> Look at that. We're getting closer. Closer and closer. So, yeah, sorry. I don't know if I said that. Code 19 is not in the game anymore, I don't think. Um, there's a little bit of a glitch at the moment. 
so the people that managed to play it um, said that when the bar at the bottom came up, it instantly failed. So you would just probably lose your dinosaurs out of containment, especially if you got one that was the three. Um, so you'd, you'd get pushed back like nine times or God, 12 times if it was four each. So, 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 we got the exclusive of 25% off in the hatchery. Um, we need to do a speed up. We do one more speed up. So there you go. That's that one done. And we don't have any room. So we just get that's like 50 VIP points done. Oh, whoa. We got loads of VIP points there. Did we? I think we did it. Quadrupled there. <gasps> if we open up this. Oh, we should do it. So three different classes. We've got to collect three mods. Oh, that's easy. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's collect three mods. Uh, might as well just use coin. <gasps> Also, um, I have been using... I think there's more modded battles coming out. Um, I've definitely done at least two recently where I've had to use mods. And I've came up with a really good um, way of using them. Like, if you have your first creature being your best, make sure it has nullify uh, and then have the other two inspire. You're, you're basically guaranteed to win. We'll do one more. You're basically guaranteed to win because as long as your first creature stays alive, it doesn't matter what they have that will affect you on that turn, like their creature. You'll nullify it. Um, so they have to have team affecting bonuses. So that's that. We've got to use three different classes of aquatics, three different classes of um, Cenozoics. Oh, we can definitely do that. We can do it in the Beasts of the Biodome. Um... Okay, so we need a U, and then we need a Snow, and then we need a Savannah. And there you go. At least that's one mission done, and we could potentially win this one. So let's see if we can. I would prefer to have gone with two caves and one snow, but hey, that'll do. Actually, two caves and... Oh no, two Savannahs and one cave, I think. Is that that's right? Maybe I don't know. Okay, so I might as well just go for three because if he has one block, which he did, <gasps> wow! Titanoboa kills him, <laughs> and you can't kill me with two. <laughs> oh, oh, my pro! And I might as well go for three because he went for one block, and he didn't. <laughs> Kills him again. In comes Sarcastodon, the cave bear, I think it is. Has five, one, two, three, four kills me, I think. That's that's a lot. Oh boy, that's a lot. Slap! Don't you slap my snake! You day! You're gonna die now! Rock slide! Whoa. Oh, stomp! There you go. Normal type move. And they we've done one of the battles as well as completing one of the missions. Which is really all I wanted to do. Get that VIP points. Oh sorry, XP, because Jeez, I need that. Oh, also, somebody told me. Hold on, I have not tried this. I was going to try it. Okay, well, uh, you need to click on that. And you need to click uh, sell. Sell. I think. Is that it? Oh, and then exit. There's something going on. You need to click and highlight. And then click something. I don't know what it is. Uh, okay. No, or exit. Oh, I don't know what they did. They did something where you, you click and hold it, and then you put it in the storage. And then exit. And they inst they, apparently they instantly excavated all this stuff. Well, I might as well do that and get... Whoa! All of that. Um, now, let's see. Let's see. Maybe it works if... Oh, what? Do I have another one that I've expanded? Oh, yes! Woohoo! There's another one. I was gonna say. Oh, this one still costs books. All right. Well, apparently not. Well, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. <laughs> this is what that guy said. So we have like two more missions. Use three different classes of aquatics and then just do the tournament uh, two more times. So if we're gonna do aquatics, <gasps> what should we win? Micro SDNA or ooh, 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 I don't know. Let's just do this one. This one's easy. So that one, and that one, and that one. And let's see if we win. Best team to be up against is one, well, a team of all the same type. That'd be good. Oh no, they're, they're the same creatures as me and even higher levels. Fantastic, <laughs> great. Ooh, can I win it though? Can I do it? So we only need to do one tournament fight actually because this counts as a PVP. Ooh, look at 
look at that, the Jurassic World symbol just came in there. Come on, what are you gonna do? You're gonna switch? Oh, he switches! And now, Anka Pristis is the worst. It has terrible attack. Absolutely terrible attack. Um, and then kill me in two. I don't even think it can. It does have a lot of health, though. I'll give it that. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. Does, is, is that enough? Is seven enough? Is it even? <laughs> I don't think so. Look at it. It's going to whack you with its nose. Ah! Nah, didn't even kill it. <laughs> seven. <laughs> oh, dear. Just kill us. Just kill me. Go on. Go for it. Why are you thinking about it? Why are you thinking about it? There you go. That wasn't so hard now, was it? No. Right. Let's see how much we get from this daily pack. Well, we need to do one more battle with this. So we'll just do the same. Oh, yeah. What am I talking about? Uh, <laughs> damn it. This is an aquatic. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but you should be used to that by now. So one more battle. Then we're going to get... Three missions, including the pack. Oh, God, that's awful. Oh, that's horrendous. Oh, that is not good. Um, oh, two really good reefs against one of my okay surfaces. He's just going to go for two. It's right off the bat. I think I'm only going to have 400 attack. I, I think I've lost this one. Again, I don't have to win. I just have to do it. And I don't lose points, I suppose, which is good. Imagine if the tournament, if you lost, you'd lose points. That would suck. Okay, he has a... Oh, no, he doesn't have enough. I was going to say, he might have enough to kill me if he had three. But two is not enough. But it is enough to put me in the danger zone. Ooh, well, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to switch to uh, Dakosaurus, because these guys are cannon fodder. And if it means he goes for all-out attack, at least I'll have eight, and I can go for... Um, a safe play. Let's see what he does. Now he knows I'm. he will attack me. 100% he will attack me. Or she will, sorry. Just notice the picture. Oh, he switched? What? Why? Why did you switch? Okay, well, I'm just going to go for four block and now four reserve. And I want it to attack me. This is good, actually, because then I can go for the least amount to kill it. Please go for five. Please go for five. Please. Yes! Okay, this is the best situation to be in. The fact that we can go for like two hits and kill it. Um, and then just go for two two block. So one, two, two, and then there we go. That's the best scenario. Now we can't be killed here. And we're going to have eight. It depends what they go for. If they go for like four attacks, that's our best scenario. If they go for four attacks. Our worst scenario is that they don't do anything. Because then it leaves me wide open to like try and predict what they're gonna do no i don't want to do it <gasps> if he goes for full reserve i'm dead oh oh we're dead we're dead he's got seven yeah it's gonna be a seven three thousand yeah yeah we're dead that was that was the worst the, the worst i mean what could oh, the only thing that could have made it worse was if we were against three reefs that was unlucky that was so unlucky but we're actually still winning out of this because um, we're going to get that daily reward. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I know. But here we go. We're going to do it. There it is. Claiming the box and the DNA and the VIP daily. So what do we get? What do we get out of this pack? Well, we got a bugger all except for like 55 bucks. But the VIP points. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? 130. Ah, it is actually. Damn, 520. You need to do these daily missions if you're a VIP. 520. You do 20 of those, which isn't enough. If you do seven, that's basically half. That's half of a solid gold pack. So it's not too bad. And if you want to, you can just spend... You could at least buy like a zip line, and then at least you could you might you're guaranteeing like some resources, possibly books, possibly DNA, if you're unlucky, all coin. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh bye-bye.